everybody it's your boy Kane got a review for y'all Detroit Pistons Cavaliers you already know what it is um, um, what did I expect to see tonight you know uh, what people should be thinking about um, but most of all my opinion um, Detroit versus Cleveland no Reggie Jackson it's gonna be tough you probably can expect um, the number one underappreciated Piston to be checking Kyrie Irving tonight. And if that don't happen, you can probably expect Kyrie Irving to have 40. If Smith is no match whatsoever for Kyrie. Um, and it's also, I think it gonna, it's going to be a tough battle for the backup point guard spot with Baino going against uh, whoever they decide to run at backup. Macy K. Felder, you know, um, I don't know how they gonna do their rotation tonight, but you know it is what it is. Um, ah, you know the Pistons is gonna play tonight. It's the Cavaliers. You know they get up for these type of games, but I just don't honestly think they have enough going for them right now. Um, me. Honestly, I believe that the Pistons will fall short this game. But I would not be surprised if they win this game. Just the fact of it being Cleveland and how they play against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, they get this extra umph for some reason against teams like Golden State and Cleveland. So, my prediction tonight loss probably by a margin of 10 um, and that's just a prediction so you know it's going to be tough to stop guys they got a lot of um, players that can shoot the ball well and you know the Detroit Pistons are not the best at defending a three point shot um, Reggie Jackson factor is, is huge going against Cleveland they're going to have to bring the effort on the defensive end. They're going to have to be nasty. They're going to have to make it basically um, a no-fly zone for the, the Cleveland Cavaliers. So, you know, we'll see what type of action we get from Andre Drummond tonight. Uh, and, of course, the backups, uh, John Lure, Aaron Baines, see if they can maintain you know, I, if I sound a little bit stuffy, y'all, that's because my sinuses is killing me right now. Even though it's a beautiful day today, 70 degrees, my sinuses is still acting crazy. So, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to this game, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow, too, against Boston. And uh, Boston will be on a back-to-back -to -back tomorrow, too, as well. They play Golden State tonight, so it'll uh, pretty much be an even matchup tomorrow. <laughs> No excuses both ways. So we'll see what keys uh Stan Van Gundy play tonight. We'll see what his lineups are, his substitutions is, because that's another key part of the game. Um the of course the Pistons are going to have to have another night like, you know, the game before last where they all had a collective effort and uh bringing them to a victory. So, you know, it is what it is. Even though it's an away game, it is the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, you know, I don't think LeBron is going to focus on scoring tonight. I think he's going to focus on getting everybody else off. So this would be a time for where we can see if uh, Stan Van Gundy going to get John Lure to be able to try to defend Kevin Love. We'll be able to see if that can uh, – yeah, go ahead. It's my son, y'all. We'll be able to see if uh, – if John Lure can do anything with that matchup, man. You know, early little things or whatever um, to see how this roster is going to pan out against Cleveland. Because even though if we do finish 4th, 5th, we, um, we still may have to face Cleveland if the Pistons move forward in the playoffs. So it's still a measuring stick. So tonight I feel like it's the first measuring stick. Um, it's a away game. 
we've been struggling on the road. So, like I said, it's going to be tough for the Pistons to come out with a win. Um, but I am, I do have a little optimism uh, because it's the Cleveland Cavaliers, and you know the Detroit Pistons can't stand Cleveland. So, we'll see. My dark horse player for Cleveland to watch out for is, hmm, let's see. They got a lot of little role players, man, that, that just get in and they just be shooting at ball. But I think Shannon Fry is the dark horse player for them. You got to watch out for Shannon Fry. Shannon Fry been shooting the ball is as pure as this damn alkaline water I'm drinking right here. He been shooting that motherfucker. So, you got to watch out for him, man. You got to defend them other cats. You got to force LeBron to be the scorer. Um, and Kyrie. You got to take everybody else out. So that's a three-headed monster we facing with him, Love, and and Irvin. But it's the NBA and it's basketball. So things that happen don't always, you know, supposed to happen. And the Pistons, uh, the Pistons still have a chance to win. <laughs> as tough as it may seem for me to say, but they still have a chance to win because it's the Detroit Pistons against the Cleveland Cavaliers. That it's a rivalry. So anything can happen in a rivalry, man. Um, I don't know, man. Y'all gotta let me know what y'all think about the game before it start, man. For y'all who see this video before the game start, y'all gotta let me know who y'all think is gonna win this game and why. And what players you think is gonna play well and which players you think is not gonna play well. I cast my vote for Aaron Baines to not do shit. <laughs> and um, you know I cast my vote on the opposite end of uh, KCP and Marcus Morris having a pretty good game Tobias is going to give you his normal I feel probably like 19-20 points but I feel like uh, KCP um, not a fan of the Cavaliers as far as it's, it's, everybody knows Marcus Morris can't stand LeBron James so um, you might see a little something in that matchup so as far as drumming, it's all up to drumming. Can't nobody stop Andre Drummond but himself. Andre Drummond is, he's, I would say, ignorantly dominant. Andre Drummond tools makes him dominant, but he doesn't realize it. He's ignorant to the fact of how much of a beast that he truly can be. And that's a part of his youth, him being as young as he is. So we'll see what, what type of game we get out of Big Dre tonight, man. Hopefully Dre go in there and, and make it known like, hey, listen, you know, this is what y'all going to have to deal with if we see each other in the playoffs. So we'll see what type of attitude he bring. We'll see what type of game we get out of Stanley Johnson tonight. I know a lot of people have been hammering him lately. Uh, slump or not, you know how you know relentless and, and unforgiving and impatient these fans are. So um, they gonna pile him. They gonna pile KCP for any little thing that they can find. Even though Stanley Johnson haven't been playing well, um, I still believe it's due to a slump that he's going through. So we'll see what we get out of him tonight, man. You know Stanley Johnson and, and LeBron. You know Stanley don't. He don't, he don't fuck around when he faced LeBron James. And, you know, he's been facing him ever since he was in high school. So, it's kind of a little something there, too. So, these is just the little factors I'm talking about in this game. So, we'll see what happens. And if we don't beat Cleveland today, I, I fully expect them to beat the shit out of Boston tomorrow. Because I don't like Boston. Boston, to me, sucks. And they overrate it. So, we'll see. Better matchup for Ish Smith, Isaiah Thomas, around the same size. So, We'll see. Isaiah Thomas is a hell of a player, though, but still, I don't see them uh, losing to Boston. So, it is what it is. Leave it in the comments, man. Your boy about to go in here and uh, take some dope and lay down. <laughs> Science is kicking my ass, bro. Uh, but shout out to LB. I really enjoyed that video about KCP, bro. Uh, but leave it in the comments, y'all. I'll catch y'all later on.